Hey everybody, this Hangout on Air is live. It is Sunday, September 30th, 2018, and welcome to all of you. I see we got the uh, nice crew on the outside there today. Hey, Momo, Mama's Beth, nice to see you. Sam, uh, Sam Telfer, Bunny Cha-Cha, thank you guys for being here today. And yeah, we're gonna have some fun Scottish. I'm just gonna start a couple minutes early, or maybe I'm right on time, but a couple minutes early. I need to get some stuff organized here uh, today. Hey, Sean, how are you? Nice to see you. Hey, RV Radio stickers, nice to see you. <laughs> oh, my holiday reef. Thank goodness for my holiday reef, huh? <laughs> I had fun making my wreath. The God of Cringe, nice to see you. You must be right at home here on the, on YouTube these days. A lot, a lot of cringe video, a lot of shenanigans and all that. Well, it's a football day out there, and I really, uh, I do follow football, but I'm more of catching a highlight reels and and all that. So I want to make my friends a good Missy Jen and uh, Bobby be over for dinner. And I want to make a uh, thank you, Anna. I want to make something nice for dinner tonight. And not everybody's into, uh, hey, Jeremy, not everybody's into bikini baking and all that. And uh, I understand that. So I try to balance it out with maybe something in the kitchen on Sunday. Bunny Cha Cha, how are you today, honey? Yeah. My uh, baby blues on. This is my kind of. Uh, unofficial farewell. Hey, Ash, unofficial farewell to uh, summer here. So, yeah, we're going to be making two things today. Now, my friend J.D. Diva, who is wonderful, Joel, he has an apiary. Hey, Joey, nice to see you. He had fruit pig. He had cats, uh, cats rule. He has an apiary. He raises uh, bees for honey out in the uh, Central Valley of California. And he was kind enough to send. I'm going to show you the honey that he sent. Uh, so. One hundred percent raw, filtered, local, small batch honey. And beautiful. That was uh, so very thoughtful of him. And I gave him a good shout out. Hey, Weaves, how you doing, my friend? Hey, Tune Staff. <laughs> the only channel that makes you happy, huh? <laughs> hey, Debbie, nice to see you. Chiba, how are you, sweetie? I made the uh, chicken pot pie last weekend in, in, uh, in uh, a request from Sheba Queen for that. Good morning, Cheryl. How are you? I should say good afternoon. How are you? Thank you. Thought we'd have a little bit of uh, blue today. I enjoy all the screens, you know, and I'm kind of lucky. Uh, I got friends that, that uh, message me on Twitter and stuff. The I mean, better watch out, Rosie. Where you go? So far, I'm kind of avoiding the uh, minefields a little bit of uh, YouTube, and I'm having a great time. So, put the honey in your honey pot. So, isn't that nice? They uh, Jade had sent that. So, we're going to be using that today to make some uh, honey cornbread, and then we're going to be doing the uh, we're going to be doing the copy recipe Kentucky Fried Chicken. I do not. I'm not sure if it's clover or what it is. It doesn't really say. Yeah, beautiful. It's got wild, it just says wildflower, uh, wildflower honey, small batches local. And it's so nice to have uh, friends. So I'm going to have to uh, work to get that uh, top off. But very nice. Yeah, scuff, that's it. Hey, Sam Spelvin. Yeah, this channel is just a little bit scuff. Shannon Steele, how are you doing, my friend? My wonderful friend from the chats um, is my new AVI. Uh, probably, I don't know. Hey, Misdemeanor, how are you today? So we're going to be making some copy recipe Kentucky Fried Chicken, too. I don't have a pressure fryer. I don't know many people that have a pressure fryer. Probably a lot of people down south. Uh, that would be great, Sheba. I love that. I love Canadian. They have A and B Canadian syrup, and actually maple syrup. B is better than, <laughs> strangely, better than A. I made uh, a maple cake for Ice Tech at one time, and I made used real Canadian maple and made the uh, made the icing with with Canadian maple, 
It was unbelievable. Mouse Toes, how are you doing, sweetie? Nice to see you. Ash, I'm always honored to see you here, my Arkansas gal. My, your mom gave now this is not a pressure cooker bunny, it's different than a pressure fryer. So you know, I don't I don't have a pressure cooker, but there is a difference between thank you, Connie Lee. Thank you, honey. Tell Tucker to get his, uh, get his, I know, I know that I've been, I'm putting pressure. Tucker lost his voice. He had a, he had a tough week, I think, and he just didn't feel like he could host without uh, having his voice and stuff. So for dinner tonight, we're also going to be having, We harvested our own Gravenstein apples here off of our apple tree, and I put up some applesauce. I already started to eat this. We're going to have applesauce with the honey bread, uh, honey cornbread, and the fried chicken. We're also going to, I didn't want to doodle around with potato salad, so I did buy some potato salad uh, tonight. Mm. Yeah, if you want in, the, in on the cards, it's pretty cute. Yeah. Pressure fries, yeah, accent. So I'm going to stick, you know, frying this in a iron, cast iron skillet. This is important because the cast iron skillet really, hey, Ellie, really distributes the heat nicely. And we're going to be cooking, we're going to be frying this with corn oil too. So we want to, we want to be, uh, we want to be very, very uh, careful here. So when we do this. So because we're going to be doing, I need to make this start the cornbread first because that's our long item. It's got to cool down for here. I'm going to go ahead and empty the oven half. And I'm going to set this to uh, 400 degrees here. I'm just using a Pyrex. I think it's a uh, five by, I don't know what the hell it is, five by, five by 11, something like that. Something I uh, something scuffed. I pick up it's picked up in a uh, yard sale. Kathy's vintage. Nice to see you, Kathy. Are you a live streamer? Wrenches are for live streamers here, so and for uh, certain selected uh, people. But I'll make sure nobody. Uh, we'll make sure nobody uh, boots you or anything. Don't worry, Kathy. I got your back. Bye. Hmm? We talk, we communicate off of YouTube and things, and that's a, that's an awesome, awesome thing. So I'm gonna get my mixing bowl out somewhere in here. I've got my big. Where the hell did my mixing bowl go? I guess I, oh there it is. I use the big one here. Wrenches are for nuts. That's it. Oh, you're never grounded. You're never grounded. So what do you think of that? The homemade, delicious homemade applesauce. Kathy, you're not grounded. Kathy and I are pals. Put that on there. I'm gonna just I'm gonna run this on convection today too. That's right. Now, why would you say that, Jeremy? Yeah, we're all we're all misfits down here. So I'm using the recipe today. Get my and later on, I'll add these to the description box. Let me open this up. This is called the Land of Lakes recipe. So I'm going to get some flour, some cornmeal, sugar, baking powder, salt. Uh, I'm not going to use half and half. I'm just going to use milk, a cup of milk, and a quarter a cup of uh, uh, butter and a quarter cup of uh, honey here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing started now. Yep, Kathy's misbehaving again. Can you believe it out there? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get the flour, and I'm going to get cornmeal. I don't worry about separate things. I just put everything in all in one bowl, and I just combine it, okay? And I put it in preheating. We got our, uh, we got our nice Pyrex uh, baking dish here, so... <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get a strike, Kathy? Damn. A lot of that going around. 
Yeah, they're very they're very careful about things that can be uh, construed as uh, bullying and stuff. They don't care about they they really don't care about bikinis and that, but they do care a lot about what happens on uh, hangouts and stuff when it gets TOS. Yeah. Oh. And a shout out to Mama Beth. You did a wonderful job on your uh, your fried pies. They look great. They just look fantastic. Really nice. No butt touches. It's like I was, I was on Savage. I was on the boardroom for a while yesterday. Savage had some drinks, and she started, you know, feeling you can't do that stuff. You can't do. You can shake them. You can twerk it, but you can't touch it. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you are most welcome kooky kooky i'm doing good i hope sharon is doing good too nice to see you Terabu. nice to see you and uh, always here i'm going to be seeing uh tara in uh less than two weeks down in san diego our uh, our wonderful friend of many years i'm gonna put uh, one cup of cornmeal in here and this is going to be delicious. What a nice compliment cornbread is to uh, with chicken. Don't you guys think it's a great compliment? I just think it's amazing. Okay, Dancing Dawn, thank you, honey. Hey, Mrs. Zombie, nice to see you. One of my uh, one of my new fun friends on uh, on YouTube. Being enjoyed. Mrs. Zombie hosts Hangouts. Check them out. I think we're going to use one cup, uh, yeah, one cup of all-purpose flour here. We're going to grab that. All right. We'll just level that off just like so. I love cornbread, too. I really like cornbread. I don't really like Yankee cornbread too much, but I eat it. Hey, Sharon, nice to see you. Yeah, you got to hang out with Mrs. Zombie and Mr. Zombie. He's pretty funny, too. We're going to get some uh, baking powder. We're going to have one tablespoon. And i got to find my measurement spoon. You know? That works how they went. Uh, this, is like a, this is like a freaking mess over here. I got my long spoon now. I got my third of a cup measure too here. So, yeah, I'm I'm picky, but I'm mainly the the thing I'm most picky about high seeds. Well, you're you're welcome to have a wrench if you want uh, seeds. So um, just let me know. Put that away over there. Some people want it. Some people don't. For me, I never really care about. Uh, sometimes I think I'd rather not have a. Uh, wrench in some of this hangout so we're going to take a, a quarter of a cup of uh yeah quarter of a cup of sugar here turn a ding on maxine nice to see you we got maxine back from the hinterlands of protest here if you haven't subbed maxine up she's another one of my uh, dresser sisters here who's amazing when I, when we went on our seven thousand six hundred thirty six mile journey she was the uh, second person that we met up with uh, in uh, Colorado Springs. We left Denver, and we, and we went to Colorado Springs in the snow, and we left the next morning. It was minus three from Maxine's place. She put us up in her uh, her fifth wheel. So, Oh, thank you, Carl. <laughs> Carl, you're, Carl, you're certifiably crazy. So check out Maxine's uh, channel, too. Um, yeah. Then we're going to get my baking powder out. I don't have any of my measuring spoons at all. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Jen. Holy crap. That's 
shit flying everywhere around here. Woo! Man. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Yeah, Maxine's a good friend. I've really uh, been an excellent friend of uh, Jen and I. Maxine worked very hard. Just don't drink a don't drink a don't drink a Pepsi when Maxine is around. Okay. Let's get our baking powder. I'm gonna open a nice new today. We're gonna use a full tablespoon of baking powder here. Like that. Okay, uh, stickers. I'll check it out. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm going to ask Jen to go through that thing and see if she can find my, uh, I think Missy Jen is, Missy Jen is hiding out there. Hmm? Yeah, that's it, Kathy. Jiffy corn mix is, is good, too. That's all right. Okay. I just like to do as much from scratch as possible. So one, uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Okay. So we're going to melt a little butter, too. Uh, we need a half a teaspoon of salt, and I've heated the oven to 400 degrees, by the way. Half a teaspoon of salt. I don't know where Jen is hiding. Missy Jen is on the lamb. Oh, thank you, Mama. I'm an old crow, honey, but I'm a happy one. Rosie's the old crow. Oh, yeah, live chat check. Thank you. God, I hate this top chat. Thank you. Yeah, whenever I'm running a stream, just remind me to turn off that damn top chat. I hate that so much. So, yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Sure, we got everything in there. Right. Yeah, I don't know why the top chat is so damn irritating. I don't even know why they have. I mean, who in the hell is going to be spamming the? You know, let the, you got enough moderators, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that stuff, right? It's nonsense. Top Chat is very, very irritating. All right. Let's give this a little twirl. Sure would like to know where Missy Jen went. Get that all swirled around. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, we're going to melt a third of a cup of, uh, what are we going to do, a third of a cup of butter, or a quarter of a cup of melted butter. Let me grab that. We'll just put that in that microwave safe uh, box. And we'll put that in a microwave safe cup. Yeah, get a knife to cut that. One quarter cup. One quarter cup of that. 
Yeah, Old Crow. It's one of the first whiskeys I ever drank was Old Crow. And Old Granddad. I still like Old Granddad. All right, so I'm going to put this in a microwave safe container here. And we're going to go ahead and melt that butter. Give that 30 seconds. I'm pitching from hailing attic insulation. Yeah, I know how to do it, Sarah. And get a um, get a piece of masking tape or a piece of duct tape and just rub that all over you. Okay, it's an old construction trick. All right, rub that all over your skin. It'll pull off the small microfibers. Okay. Hey, Grizz, chick is right. Chicken is right here, warming up. Nice to see you. We're gonna pour this in. Add that in. Lord. Yes, I've heard of Buffalo Trace. It's one of the great houses on the uh, on the Bourbon on the Bourbon Trail. Yeah, I've done a lot of construction work in my time and worked a lot of renovation and stuff. So one cup of um, of uh, milk. Jen, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor and look through that for my measuring spoon? I can't find it. Um, Say my name, say my name. That's a just free birdie here. Yuck, dark meat. Well, I got I got legs and uh, thighs today. Just a picnic pack. Legs and drumsticks. Sorry. It's a set of three or four spoons, Jen, that are on a metal ring. I already looked in here. Nope. I tried to find them Friday night, but did not find them. Definitely a bummer. Definitely a bummer. And I think we're going to get the honey out now. There's uh, everybody saying hi to you, Jen. Jen saying hi. And we're going to open up this beautiful honey now. And once again, thank you. Uh, thank you, J.D. Diva, for doing that. Hi, Susan. How are you, free birdie? Nice to see you, gorgeous lady. Open up this honey. And we got to get a couple of eggs too. Yeah. It's hard to believe. Uh, yeah, two eggs we're going to be adding too. So this, this was so nice of uh, this day, this girl's journey. Nice to see you. Life has gotten busy. I'm so glad, honey. You know why? Because it means you have a real life. Thank you, honey. Thank you. So we're going to take uh, one quarter of a cup of honey here. Not just. It's going to take a little bit to pour this out. One quarter of a cup. And again, thank you, uh, JD Diva Joel, for the uh, gift of the uh, beautiful. Beautiful honey. That was so nice of you. Very nice. Gonna put the cork back in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice to see Grizz in here. Thank you, Jack. Much appreciated. That, hon that honey is absolutely delicious. Last thing we need to add a couple eggs in here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Tara in a couple of weeks. That's going to be great. We'll be doing some hangouts from San Diego. So. And uh, Missy Jen and I always have a good time with uh, Tara. She comes up to the rancho every summer. She spends uh, three or four days with us up here. So. Missy Jen has a uh, has a German accent, Kathy. She's 
She was born and raised. You have bikini babes on the beach. She was born and raised in uh, Germany. So let's go ahead and add this. Uh, let's go ahead and add this honey. And sometimes people put a little. They'll spray a little cooking like Pam or something in first, so it comes out. I don't need to do something that radical. Get that all that delicious honey out of there. Put that right in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Hey, Colleen, how are you? Aloha to you, honey. There's my uh, friend Colleen Hope from the big island of Hawaii, Hawaii. And I guess out there it's about uh, not 10 o'clock or so, 11 o'clock. Hey, Grandpa Jay, nice to see you. Let's go ahead and uh, we've got our uh, eggs in. And let's go ahead and get this mixed up now, okay? And then we've got our oven nicely preheated to 400. And if you haven't checked out Mama Beth's channel uh, on there, make sure to check it out. She does live stream cooking events too. And I think she's a very engaging and gracious and lovely looking woman. She really is all the charm that you would expect of a southern, a southern gal. Now, before you pour any batter, I always suggest when you're doing a recipe, hey, Stewie, uh, movie buzz. I run north of Baltimore here. And again, we have Maryland tomatoes and corn. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah. Towson, right, Delaney Valley. Awesome. Nice to have you aboard. You bet, Mama Beth. All right, we got the flour, we got the cornmeal, we got the sugar, the baking powder, the salt, we've got the milk, we've got the melted butter, we got the honey, and we got the two eggs. So yeah, we're really good. We're gonna give this another good stir here. And we're gonna go ahead and just pour this into our pan here. It's going to be a very delicious cornbread. You should, if you don't have wooden spoons, spatulas are good, but I just think wooden spoons are fantastic to work with. You know, everybody get really good, really good at manipulating them. I hope we don't have any horns going off, so I don't have to. I don't have to f bomb somebody today. Coffee's bill, yeah. Here, Bel Air, cool. Uh, Austin, Maryland, Bel Air, big shout out up there, Parkville, Boston, Bel Air, I know it well. Back in the uh, back in the late '80s, I had a fashion business, and I would serve a lot out on the Bel Air Road here, Clark Equipment Company, and <coughs> Caterpillar Dealers, and all that. I don't mean to service them in the way that, you know. Hey, Harvey, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, we got the we got the great seeds here today. Jarrettville, Maryland. Yes, yes, yes. Jarrettville, Maryland. Lovely place. I had a friend at uh, in college who was in, uh, lived in Falston. Used to be up and down Harper Road, all that stuff. Probably you don't even remember Bo Brooks, the Crab House, Bo Brooks. Good afternoon, Carlos. No, I'm not retired. No, I'm, I'm not. Hi, Sweet Meadow. I hope to retire on March 30th, March 31st of 2019. It's all cool. That's it. Glad to hear it, stickers. All right, we got that all set. We're going to open our oven now, and we're going to put our cornbread in. And we're going to let that we're going to let that go for 18 to 20 minutes. I'm going to I'm going to beer on this 18 to 22 minutes, and we're going to split the goalposts here. 
Yes, I taught school with youth benefits. Good. Yes. Oh, you knew that restaurant. That's cool. That and Glenmore Gardens were my two two great go-to places. Hey, Michelle. And Glenwood Gardens was very unusual. They had the uh, they had outstanding. No, Angelina's is the place. Um, Angelina's might still be around. The best spaghetti and meatballs. But it was unusual. Uh, if you were there eating early, like at five, five o'clock, the owner would always come out, and uh, he had a little like altar set up in the wall. And I didn't care who he was, who was in the restaurant, he would come out, he would get down on his knees and say his afternoon prayers right in the middle of the dining room there. So very unusual. The Do Gardens, you have the topiary. I know all that. I'm Colleen. I've not used an air fryer before. See, Carly, uh, people in Kentucky grew up and uh, they would have Maryland fried chicken, and people in Maryland would have Kentucky fried. People down south would have Eastern Shore Maryland. It's the Eastern Shore of Maryland's renowned for its uh, chicken farms, and uh, that's where Purdue started out in Salisbury, Maryland. Big time chicken that. Do you remember the hot brown? Of course I do. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember Hausner's restaurant down in uh, Patterson Park down there? Oh, that's cool, isn't it? You're bringing a tear to my eye. Well, I'm an old bird. Jack Thompson, how you doing, baby doll? Nice to see you. Yep, Hausner's restaurant. The only uh, one of the restaurants that made uh, National Geographic magazine. And Hauser sadly closed down. So that's fun. How about the Bojangles chicken? All the paintings, all the statuary, and all that. Stewie's here for the uh, Stewie's here for the chicken. Oh, Colleen, you're close to my age, huh? I'll tell you, don't get mad at me if I F-bomb today when the traffic goes by and people are beeping the damn car horns. What's that, Jack? Henry Wandy rescue chopper flying around. The police chopper. Have you ever seen two older people so in love it brings tears to your eyes? I don't know, Free Birdie. I'm a player, so I'm not sure. Kipper, hey who? Woo! Kipper, I know Candace is getting ready for the big smash mouth football game between uh, the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers today. Sometimes I just stop by stop by just to hear you say my name. Jack Thompson, you know I love you. <laughs> We're going to let that go in a couple minutes. It's not even uh, 3 o'clock, so we got plenty of time to get this uh, chicken gone out. Shannon, go Ravens. Go Ravens. Huh? Shannon's like, Shannon's going to unfriend me now. That's it. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, you take care of Sheba. Nice to see you, honey. Yeah. You do have to love you do have to love to go. You do have love to go around. That's what I say. He's actually gotten dressed. Got to, got to go to Wally World. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh I'm I'm out and about. Tracy, how are you doing, sweetheart? Nice to see you. Oh, that's good. Shannon's like, it's okay, Rosie. I still love you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Deb. Hey, uh, Johnny. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you, sweet Meadow. You're sweet, honey. You're very sweet. Yeah, Harvey's like, it's nearly 11 here in London. Yeah, Harvey, if you're kind of like, you're, you're like Nicole G. She's, she's into, um, She's into the U.S. based time zone, or she used to be a lot more so. Uh, the hours were a little grueling. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kip. 
Thank you, baby doll. Harvey's gonna wake up to hunger. <laughs> So we're going to let that go. We got the timer set. We'll take a look at that in 15 minutes. In the meantime, we can take our mixing bowl and we can start, you know, the KFC recipe is pretty well known. Hey, Lisa Yarborough, how are you? Mm, you baby doll. It's pretty thank you to her instead. Yeah. I like to smile. I like to laugh. You guys are going to laugh at the video tonight. I'm coming out later. Well, thank you, movie buff. I think a lot of people on YouTube would debate the fact I'm brilliant, that's for sure. I'm probably one of the dumber people on here. <laughs> uh, got all my, oh, that's cool. I'm going to do a Dollar Tree uh, Halloween haul this week. I hope you all check that out. Tonight i got a funny video coming up with uh, Sorority Brat Rosie again. I think you guys will get a laugh out of that. You got to pay the bills somehow in college. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you for, uh, appreciate that. Flower and smiley hearts. Thank you. I don't read Farsi, but I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I don't automatically boot people out that have Farsi written, you know, my fourth most watched country, Saudi Arabia. So. <laughs> U.S., Canada, U.K., and then number four is uh, Saudi Arabia. So, Prosper College, absolutely. I know Prosper. I went to Loyola. Rattle those pots and pans. <laughs> I think that's you, Mama Beth. I was a Loyola. I went to Polytechnic, and I uh, went to Loyola. Hey, Wim is, Wim, what is that? Wim is D. Whim, whimsy D. Yeah, Kipper's like lots of room. Kipper, we're giving reach around in here. <laughs> we're good for uh, we're good for reach around. You know? When we're done stroking each other off, we go ahead and uh, we make something. Hey, Michelle Martin, Michelle Martin, I'd say your your patriots are in really serious trouble. Oh, my dad went, to, no, I'm not under 40, baby. I'm not under 40 by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Chris, come on. Oh, thank you, Mama. You're sweet. You're sweet. <laughs> yeah, there's Kipper. I'm in line. Yeah. I think the key to staying young is to laugh a lot. Don't get don't get involved in things that drag you down in life. They're really psychic vampires. Try to keep away from uh, try to keep away from stuff. <laughs> Susan, you look uh, you look like a college girl, free burden. Uh, mom, mom, you're sweet. Thank you, movie buff. Yeah, Jen already plucked the chickens today. Yeah, I'm going to copy the recipe link and I'll put it in the description box there. That's fine, Colleen. I got you beat, honey. Yeah, sticker's like, no, Rosie. It's cool. Jan, you're going to have a good dinner tonight, girl. Huh? Yeah, I know. You're looking good, man. You're looking good, babe. You're looking good. You are looking good, my sweet. Oh, I'm starting to smell something nice in the kitchen. Susan, you're a beautiful, you're a beautiful woman. I couldn't even believe that you're a grandma. I found that very hard to believe. Yeah, man, told me about you. I spread the word. Oh, thank you very much, movie buff. Can't wait to see the batter. Hey, chick, nice to see you again. Less clucking and more chicken, right? Well, we got no rush today. It's always for fun. Yeah, live chat. Make sure you put it on live chat and not top chat. Yeah, Susie, your homemaker. That's right, Susan. That's exactly right, honey. And I got all the moving parts you need, right? Best of both worlds. 
5 p.m. somewhere. I hope uh, maybe Pirate will stop by, huh? Make Stewie's day. So, our, we're going to start getting our spices together here, okay? Uh, we're going to use two, two bowls. We need two things to put it in here. I'm probably going to get the other uh, mixing bowl and not the big one. We're going to need to put our spices separate. Now, I don't have buttermilk, but I am going to show you how you can put a little bit of an edge on uh, buttermilk. Candy, you're too sweet. Rosie's the old crow, honey. The old crow. So let's one by one, let's get our spices out. And I'm going to tell you something, guys, right now. Here, if you've ever heard of the Japanese principle of umami, and that gives some, um, it's, it's like another taste sensation. Instead of salty, sweet, you have umami. And it's like, it's like a real savory sensation. So we're going to be using regular milk, but we're also going to add a touch of uh, rice wine vinegar to that. And that's going to bring some umami to our chicken. And it's also going to do a little bit of imitation, uh, imitation. Uh, uh, it's going to really spike up the, make it like buttermilk. So the Patriots 37. Yeah. Brady free TDs, that's cool. Okay, so make sure you buy some uh, rice wine vinegar. It's really good. If you don't like that, yeah, the fifth flavor group, you can also use. Red wine vinegar, too, is also very good to put that on. So let's go ahead and get our spices together. I'm going to go down this list. We're going to use, uh, we got all purpose flour we got. Uh, we're going to double the recipe because we're going to have, uh, what do we have? Two, we're going to probably double this up because we got a lot of chicken here. I'm going to cook enough so that Jen has stuff to eat all week. Hey, Gary, thank you. Let's see. Uh, we're going to get some oregano. Let me get the oregano in. Our oregano, we got basil, yeah, we got the, we got oregano right there. We've got basil, got our basil, and I bought nice and fresh. I wanted to get some fresh, I wanted to get some nice. Uh, hey, Jess, well, I wanted to get some nice, fresh spices. Once in a while, you should just throw out your spices. Chili powder. Chili powder. Sage. Sage, it was, sage is what makes uh, Thanksgiving so special. Sage. Ground sage. Okay. Marjoram. This is a very rare spice. Not many people have that. There's not much call for it. Ground marjoram. Okay, you got to have well-stocked panties. That's right, Sean. Let me tell you, my G-string is well-stocked. And then we need to have pepper, salt. We need paprika. Paprika. You can see I'm assembling when they talk about 11 herbs and spices. Salt. Ching. Believe it or not, uh, accent. Okay. Make sure you have accent. Flavor enhancer. Okay. I gotta find my pepper. You're gonna use uh, garlic, garlic powder. Okay. Yeah, that's a meat tenderizer. This is more of a seasoning, but it also works as a meat tenderizer. I'm gonna get my pepper out. Okay. 
That is a lot of stuff right there. Yeah, MSG, a lot of people can't do MSG. That's fine. There's a lot of spices there. Okay. Oregano, chili powder, sage, basil, marjoram, pepper, salt, paprika. We have to get the onion salt out too. Okay, unless I didn't, I'm going to check and see if I already got the onion salt down. The onion, the onion salt too. So okay. Oh, you lost ninety subs today. What the hell? How do you lose ninety subs, huh? Hey, garlic powder. Okay. Hey, Dave. Big one there. Okay, so we got everything we need. So remember, we're going to double up our quantity here because we're going to be making a lot of this. Yep, I'm cooking today. I got it going on. I got to keep an eye on the cornbread. Oh, that cornbread's looking so good. Oh, Ooh. so let's go ahead. Let's put the onion salt in. Put two tablespoons of that. And as I use the spices, I'm just going to put them away. All right. Onion salt. We got onion salt. Two teaspoons of oregano. We're just going to take our time. I bought all nice and fresh today. It's going to take a little time to open up some of these uh, spices and stuff. Uh, that's why God gave you teeth, right? All right, so we're going to use two teaspoons of oregano. Okay. Two teaspoons of chili powder. I love chili powder. Do you guys love chili powder? I'm all prepared, Dave, but I'm not in a super big hurry today. So, yeah, I have all my ingredients out, but uh, just a nightmare getting some of these. Uh, it's always good when Jay, Dave's riding shotgun over when you're cooking. All right, go ahead and grab one, two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of sage. I love sage. Ooh, sage just smells like Thanksgiving, doesn't it? Two teaspoons of sage. One, two. Two teaspoons of basil. Yeah, I love to keep stuff small size. All my eggs in one basket. I, I'm afraid of what that means. Mm. 
sage and sausage is awesome. Mm, nice basil, two teaspoons of basil. One, two. I think that might be our bread is done. Now we're gonna give a couple more minutes on the bread, okay? Wanna make sure that that's really done, okay? Um, two teaspoons of marjoram, a very rare spice. Hell, I don't even think I've ever used it before. I don't even know how to describe it. Y'all ever use uh, marjoram? Yeah, that's good, Stewie. That's a good policy. Don't sit your buns down on there. Okay, one, two, two teaspoons of that. Two teaspoons of pepper. We're really building the spice, aren't we? Woo! Hope you guys like Kentucky Fried Chicken. I do. Salt. Four teaspoons of salt. Okay. Four teaspoons of salt. Four teaspoons of paprika. I never really heard, I've heard it as seasoning before, but I think I have no idea what marjoram is. I think when the Colonel was doing the Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe, he just got every damn spice he could get his hands on and just threw that shit into a bowl and called it good. Two, uh, let's see, four, four tablespoons. Wow. That's the real deal right there, baby. Woo! And uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Man. You make my majorum essential oil. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I'll tell you, Stewie. I, don't, I hate to go to... Uh, I hate to go to bathrooms on the road, but truck stops are usually really clean, like Love's. Mm, garlic powder. Then we're going to use tea, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Boy, it takes, it takes longer to uh, get all your fixings together than it does to cook this stuff. Okay, and then four tablespoons of accent. If you don't like MSG, then just leave. I guess you can just leave this one out. I'm doing double recipe because uh, there'll be uh, enough that we can have just cold during the week. I don't know about you guys, but I like cold chicken. It doesn't bother me at all. Okay. Now, yeah, just double check and make sure you got everything. Uh, yeah, Stewie, you should meet that. You should meet Elvis then. Uh, then we're going to put in one cup of all-purpose flour too, okay? We're going to put two cups in because we're doubling the recipe here. One, two. It even smells like Kentucky Fried Chicken right now. Stuff even smells like it. Okay, we can put a lot of this stuff away now. Clear the decks. No, no, it's good. Browns, throw all those spices in the Walmart bag. There you go, right? I'm going to put this stuff away, get all these spices off the counter. Top. Ah. 
see. Real time cooking fun. See, my mama bath still out there. My mama bath, yeah, the paper bag is paper bag good is a good method, is a great method too for uh for doing the chicken in the bag too. That's a great way to do it. Mama Beth is like, oh, I'm so happy I found the boy, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my whisk now, and I'm going to whisk all of these ingredients together. Ma, ma, Rosie for present, right? All right. It's just what our country doesn't mean. All right, you're going to have to really work to combine all of these ingredients, okay? Mm. That's going to be off the hook right there. Learn to love it, Colonel. Woo, Colonel Sanders, baby. Yeah, I'm digging that already. That's going to be good. So there it is. We got them all lumped together. Hi, Fatima. Yeah, just make sure. Mama got. Oh, that's good. Ooh, 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 that's good. Woo! Man, that is good. That is really tasty. Well, we gotta watch our bread now. We gotta, we're gonna take a knife and we're gonna stick in a steak knife and see if it comes out clean. This, the whole kitchen just smells so delicious. You can see the way the knife came out. Still got a little time to go. Okay. Depends on the pan. If you have a very spread out pan, it's going to be uh, faster. All right. We got that all done. That was pretty easy. Now we're going to take our other deeper mixing bowl here. We're going to have a wet side and we're going to have a dry side here and we're going to get this set up with assembly line stone. We're going to put two eggs in here. Make sure you don't get any shells in. Okay. And I let these I let these out earlier to warm up at uh, to warm up at room temperature. I also warm I also brought the chicken up to room temperature too. Yeah, I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the uh, links for the recipes both of them in the description box when the uh, when it's all over. Okay, then we're gonna put some uh, milk in here. I'm a little light on milk today, so we'll just have to make do. Okay, save a little bit for coffee. All right. Okay, and I'm going to put in one, one good teaspoon of Asian rice wine vinegar. This is my own, this is my own hack in here, okay, Asian rice wine vinegar. I'm going to put in a good one and a half teaspoons of that, and that's going to get that buttermilk type flavor. Hey, William Ross, nice to see you. Okay. We're going to take our whisk. 
And we're gonna we're gonna work this real good. Okay, and I think we're all ready to make some chicken. Now you can fry this in lard. Okay, so we got our wet ingredients here and we got our dry, so we're gonna be all good to go. We'll get this, we'll get this set up assembly line stuff. Here. Clear everything off now. We're gonna get the iron skillet out too. Okay. Oh boy. Give that milk a twang. That's it. Give that milk a twang. Give that milk a twang. Oh man, that is just kick ass. Got two more minutes and we're all set the cornbread be done. Put that over here so you guys can check that out. That cornbread is like awesome. Touch a mama bear milk, huh? You can drink and use for cooking. <laughs> Make sure you have a nice skillet. I don't think any kitchen is complete without a really genuine season. Yeah, Joe, bring some milk over without a real genuine cast iron skillet. This one's nicely seasoned. Never use never use scouring pads or anything like that on it, okay? So I'll never do that. Once you get that good seasoning on that, you never want to let that go. And these things can be handed down from generation to generation. Don't worry, Dave. I have my own way. You got yours. I got mine. Here's the problem. Dave's going to be backseat uh, rice, wine, vinegar, and salt. I'm going to wipe down this counter real good. Missy Jen, we got some good cornbread. You watching Tom enough? I'm going to turn the oven off now and open the door. Wipe this counter down. You should have been here when I was making lasagna. I was pulling my wig out when Dave was on the side with that shit. All right. All right. Here we go. Put that all cleaned up there. There we go. Hey, Van Lufa. Okay. Here we go. Jen, you want to see how nice the cornbread looks? You? Yeah. Mm. that look good? Honey cornbread? Yeah, that look great? Woo! Boy, that looks good. Woo! Look at that, huh? Doesn't that look good? That's going to really taste good. That's why we have to start that first to make sure that that's been cool down for quite a while. So. Go ahead and clean off the counter real good. I'm really happy with the way that the kitchen smells amazing. Here. And Jen, I'm just kind of cleaning it as I'm going here. So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pass the butter. Thank you, Gary. Oh, thank you, Lisa. You're a doll, honey. Thank you, doll, baby. That was so sweet. Thank you. You like that, Debbie? 
Got to pass the Debbie Davis test. What's that? I don't know. I didn't break anything. Better sweep it. I don't see anything broken here. Better not be in bare feet. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Leftover cornbread with milk is a popular southern breakfast, isn't it? That awesome. We're going to go ahead and just add some chicken to our mixture here. We're going to be sanitary here. And I'll be washing my hands quite often here. All right. Dropping some chicken in there. I think we'll do our legs first, and then we'll get to the uh, thighs. We just, I bought a party pack. I wanted to get the whole chicken, but they didn't have, uh, you know, in the hood here, we just have, they don't have a lot of selection. So, I really appreciate that, Lisa. Thank you, honey. They didn't really have a lot of suggest, a lot of selection for meats and stuff here. Let's get our corn oil. We're going to be using corn oil today. I might maybe canola oil, maybe a little bit healthier here. Actually, I think I prefer corn oil for for frying. All right. Okay, we're going to fill that up. That'll be pretty good. <sighs> Jeremy Davis, you better behave yourself out there. Okay, now we're going to sit this on the side here. We kind of got our line up here. Okay, so first it'll go from the bottom line. That's it. First it'll go. We're just working the chicken here. Let that soak in. I'm going to give you another hack for this, too. You want to take a fork, okay? You want to take a big fork and you want to pierce these these skins a little bit, okay? That's going to allow some of the buttermilk to go in, our imitation buttermilk here, okay? All right. It's also going to allow the seasonings to go in, so you have a more a more complete taste, okay? No apron for me, baby. No apron for me. All right. I'd be cooking naked if I could. No, actually, I wouldn't be. Okay, so we got that sitting there. We're going to let that sit a couple minutes. We're going to start taking our... Uh... Oh, that cornbread looks so good! Woo! Man, that looks good. I'll move that. I'm going to get a big plate to sit over here. Okay. <laughs> say yeah let it sink in oh i saw you burn your finger honey i never i never put things in i always use tongs to put things in uh, i always put tongs in there yeah that's exactly what i'm going to do mouth toes but it was a little too hot over there still plenty top hot what i'll do is i'll take the butter I'm going to give it a good rubby dub dub. Okay, that makes mouse toes very happy. My mouse toes, okay? Give that a good butter rub down right there. Okay. Are you happy, mouse toes? Are you JK? No cow, yeah, you can't fry in a string bikini. That's right. So let's get this. Uh, let's get this going. This oil. We want to be ultra careful here. Okay. All right. Let's sit our cornbread on the back. We're gonna get a. Uh, All right. Where we're gonna pop our. Uh, where we're going to pop our finished chicken. 
over here. All right, that's real good. Right next to it. Uh, yeah, Lisa Yarborough is a wonderful gal. I enjoyed. I'm looking forward to going to her next chat stream too. Her and Bella are wonderful. Really nice people. But it's going to be have to be about 300, 325, 350 degrees, something like that. Uh, thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that, honey. I love live streaming uh, these type of things. Got our high temperature thermometer. Okay. Very important. Yep, there's Ellie. Ellie, that cornbread just smells amazing. That honey cornbread. I can't wait to have a bit of that. Less clock and thank you, Jack. Yeah, cooking uh, cooking shows are, I would agree, Mal, so they tend to be drama-free, and I think it's nice. Most people check the drama at the door, and they come in. Okay. Yeah, Mama Beth, when I'm doing the, uh, thank you, JK, when I'm doing the chicken or grabbing things with hot oil, I like to use tongs to do it, so. We're not known. I'm not in any rush to get that up to temperature. Just, just checking a message, I guess. We're doing about 10 minutes for about 12 minutes for the thighs. Yeah, for the thighs, legs, and uh, yeah, they got to be uh, cooked a little longer. Yeah, 350, uh, yeah, 350 to 375, something in that range there. Uh, yeah, that stuff really smells good. We're up to about 180, so that'll be all good. We don't want to go too high when it's frying. We want to keep around the 340, 350, 330, something like that. Okay. Sauerkraut and sausage. I love sauerkraut. Can't really get good sauerkraut out here on the West Coast. Can't really get that. Hey, Jenny. Bon. Want the grease splatter on the fire? Well, it probably could uh, roadkill. I can kind of move that off a bit. Put that neck pull down real good. I love sauerkraut. Yeah. Gently steamed chicken that day before. That's good. That's nice seeds. That's a good way to do it. Two twenty. Uh, 
Now I'm going to turn this uh, turn this real low, and I'm just going to change my shoes. Okay. All right, we're at uh, 280 in there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start putting some of this chicken into the uh, into our dry here now. I'm turning that real good. Let that let that absorb a lot of that goodness in there. Okay. Let that all get good and coated in there. Awesome. Awesome. Keep an eye on your temperature. It's about uh, 300 degrees right now, so we're getting close to kickoff time. I'm going to just lower the heat so we go up slowly here. Chicken and dumpling, that's all right. Chicken and dumpling, there's the Missy. Missy's like, I get to eat it. Woo it's nice to have a uh, thermometer clip, too, that keeps that clipped right on the side, so... Yeah, Mama Bet does really nice cooking streams. Really nice streams. Yeah, Stewie's around. Hi, Lois. How you doing, Lois? All right. Hey, Saren. No, I'm not drinking straight vodka. <laughs> yeah, taking requests. That's good. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking straight vodka. Jeremy, you're silly. We're getting there. Just a couple more minutes. We're about uh, we're closing in on about 330 right now. Around 350 will be kickoff time here for this. Yeah, if you haven't checked out Mama Best stream, she did a nice uh, fried pies. They were really good. Oh, stickers, be nice. <laughs> uh. 
Mm, man, I can smell those spices already. All right, it is kick, it's cook off, kick off time. I'm going to lower that a little bit just to maintain the heat. Now I got my tongues. I don't try to use my hands to drop it in, okay? You can get terribly burned doing that. All right. Lower that down a bit. That kind of give you a good flash on that uh, on your skin. It just absolutely seals that that uh, those spices right on. Okay. You know, let that uh, let that cook a while. That's looking good. That is really looking good. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. You're on the couch. That's cool. That's a good place to be. Yeah, that's our good range. Now we can turn the heat back on a little bit. Keep that low. Keep that regulated. We're going to go about uh, ten, just sealed it right in. Boom. That just sealed that right in. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, that just looks delicious. Not just keeping that right at the good temperature there. I just have the heat on low, and that's doing a real good job of just keeping that. Yeah, throw in a raccoon, huh? That's fine. All right, so I'm going to cook this about uh, 12 minutes or so. I've already got the timer on. Okay. Just turn it a little bit. It already looks like it's going to be really delicious. I'm keeping my distance from the stove, too. I like to keep that well regulated. Yeah, just getting up a box to go, huh? <laughs> Cornbread, applesauce, we have so many good things to eat. It's going to be amazing tonight. I think I'm going to fry about four pieces at a time. That keeps it, keeps it like that. Is Mama Bear here today? Sorry if I missed you, Mama Bear. Don't forget to take your tongs and just turn them a little bit. Yeah, I like a little. I'm using uh, corn oil here. That's pretty good, huh? I don't have a pressure fryer. I think they're kind of dangerous anyway.
Woo, that baby is fucking away. Good. Ah, yeah, I still like to have, I still like my Hawaiian shirts. No, no, they don't that anymore. <laughs> I'm good for shoes. I'm probably good for life ones. <laughs> uh, thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. This is just drying away beautifully. The color looks fantastic. Now, I'm very careful to splatter. One good thing about a skillet is it maintains the splatter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just maintaining the temperature about uh, 350 degrees here. I'm being very, I'm just doing things very slowly and very methodically here. Don't be in a rush because that's got to get to the bone. That's got to cook all the way to the bone. Yeah, olive oil. You don't want to use. Uh, you don't want to use olive oil. That's, I'll tell you one damn thing. That chicken's looking good. You fried about twelve minutes, Van Lupa. You should fry that chicken about 12 minutes. Now, when I turn my heat to lowest here, it maintains the uh, it maintains the fry temperature perfectly. Once in a while, I once in a while. Good night, Harvey. Once in a while, I turn the heat off just to let the temperature. I want to maintain it between 330 and 360, right in that range, right there. Okay. That's really looking good. Really looking good. Don't overload your pan either, okay? That makes it dangerous. Okay, a couple more minutes and this first batch will be done. How do I say neutral? Uh, I just, I never talk crap about people. Hey, Mallory, nice to see you. That's always been my golden rule. I just don't talk about, I talk about that people the same way in, in their, in front of their face that I do, uh, you know, when I'm not around. I don't care. Remember to take your, take your knife and make sure to poke the chicken so all that, all that goodness gets inside of you, okay? All right. This first batch, a couple more minutes and it's done. I'm exactly looking done right now. I'm going to go ahead and pop that on. This first batch is officially done over here. Looks delicious. Right there. First batch of it. All right. First batch right there, and then we're going to go ahead and get our next batch all set. Take our heat back on again. And now we're going to put our next batch in.
that real good. Get all all of our pieces in. Okay, because we wanted to cook it. In. Don't overload your frying pan, okay? You need room to operate in there. All right. Very important. Okay. Get that all coated beautifully in there. Woo! That looks good. That looks really, really good. Okay. Excellent. You can also use a paper bag to do this or a plastic bag. All right. Bye, Lois. Thank you. Yeah, the cornbread turned out great, Andrew. It's already done. Okay. Here goes our next batch. Our chicken is going down. Okay. Got our uh, next four pieces that are hitting the fryer now. Make sure to use one of these tongs to do it, okay? It makes it really safe to do that, okay? Makes it really safe when you're using tongs. Okay, that's the egg. Yeah, that's the milk mixture there. And there's the spice mixture there. There's our uh, chicken over there. The lighting here makes it look much darker than it actually is. It's got the uh, weird light up there on that. We're doing good. Okay, it's coming along great. Just the thing is, maintain your temperatures. I don't want to go over 360. I want to be between 330 and uh, 360. You have to really watch it. You don't want to go so, so high that uh, you don't want it to go so high that it just flames up the oil and explodes it. Okay. There are definite risks to doing this stuff. You have to be very non spastic, very non spastic to do this stuff. Hey, Mojo, how are you doing? Yeah, they'd be, Dave would be doing quality control. <laughs> You know, Dave would be doing, he'd be like, stand back, just stand back. Yeah, and for the buttermilk, we used a little bit of, uh, of um, yeah, I wish I, I'm such a snob for coleslaw. I rarely get it when I'm out. I'm doing good, Mojo. Always an honor to see you here, my friend. A mojo fanboy. That's maintaining a really good temperature there. Besides, you definitely want uh, you definitely want 12, 12 minutes. Oh yeah, fried chicken. I got a watermelon in there. I got some uh, applesauce, our own homemade applesauce. And I've got some um, uh, potato salad and the cornbread. Did you see that, Andrew? There's our honey cornbread. Yeah, that kid bitten by the shark. That's why I got to be careful about wearing my silver bikini in the ocean. Just be very careful turning it over. Okay. Don't overload your pan is the big key. Don't overload your frying pan. While that's frying away, we're going to put our pieces 
Stir that a little bit. We're going to put our remaining chicken into the uh, into the seasoning here. Okay, let that sit there and be happy for a while. A little more heat to it. Yeah, you need to have some greens and fries. Damn right you do. We got some nice potato salad to go with it tonight. I wasn't going to doodle around with uh, making, but I've made potato salad plenty of times. So, all right, we're going to let that be in there a little bit. I could have probably used half the spices that I had, but you can't say it because it's cut the chicken, so it'd be a health hazard. So everything has to be thrown away. So just for safety's sake. Okay, in other words, you might be you might be tempted to save some of this uh, dry spicing, but you can't do it because it's been touched by raw chicken. It's all gotta go. Okay. That's uh, safe food handling. When you go to culinary school, that's the first thing that they teach you. Woo, -hoo, the Scottish, there you go. That's the first thing that they uh, teach. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, Mojo likes the man butt. <laughs> uh, Got good regulated heat on here, not dangerous at all. You don't want to ever push your oil above 400 degrees because it hits a flash point and it can literally explode on you, okay? Be very safe. Oh, yeah, look at that chicken. Nip a little piece. Oh! That chicken tastes so good. Mm. I can't believe how good that chicken tastes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That chicken tastes so righteous. Uh. Happy dance, yeah. It's turning out good, Jack. Where's Lisa? <laughs> if you get in your car, you can be here by Wednesday for leftovers. Right? <laughs> uh, nice to see you, Jack. All right. Good temperature control today. Everything's looking awesome. All right. We just gotta make sure we very thoroughly cook these. Uh, Ah. Woo! Woo! You don't want to dance around the kitchen now. Oh, I couldn't believe fruit pig. I just took a little I took a little snitch off of one. Ah, it's so good. It is so good. I'm going to flip these over one more time. Okay. Be very careful. Yeah. Man, that even looks like Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know? <laughs> I'm greedy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, stickers, I got to make enough so Jen has, uh, we can have a snack during the week and stuff. I'm going to watch my figure for uh, for San Diego. Jen does too. All right, so let's give you that about one more minute. Then yeah, we're going to remove them.
Take care, Jenny. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, Joy, I'm sorry. You only need like uh, I'll be doing a fish fry in a week or so. You only need like four minutes on a fish. It's much thinner. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Much appreciated, honey. Much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kelly, how are you? Thank you, Black Rose. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, honey. Thank you. It's awful sweet of you. All right, that's looking good. So we can now remove that. That's cooked enough now. I think I'll give one more minute. Some of these are really thick thighs. This one should be done. There. I'm going to give this one a flip. This one a flip. I'm going to give two more minutes just to be, just to be safe. Just to be safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to seal it. I'm going to snitch it up. Oh, that's hot. Woo! I can't resist. I got to snitch a little bit. Woo! Mm. Mm. Unbelievable. Unreal. That tastes so freaking good. Mm. That tastes better than crackling. All right, we got one last batch to go. And then that is it. Throw that in, and then while that's cooking, go ahead and make sure our temperature is up. Go ahead and set our timer. Okay. Okay, take that back up. Don't try to save any of this stuff. Don't try to save any of this stuff. Mojo, I know you're laughing at me. All right. That does look good, though, that chicken, doesn't it? Okay, thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Look delicious. All right. Get that up to temperature. We drop down a little bit, so. Go ahead and start cleaning up a little stuff. Doesn't that look good, Mojo? What do you think? Hey, Voodoo, what do you think? Hmm? 
I'd be I'd be proud to serve that to uh, Mojo and Voodoo and Mouse Toes and Silly. Uh, thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. Oh, you know, Jim, you know what broke? You know what broke? Down the counter, and there's still some glass over here. Nobody should walk around and bare feet. Ten chickens were harmed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got to be careful. George doesn't come in here. So. Yeah, we had a uh, my my uh, shot glass broke. I didn't even know it fell on the counter. It was really in two pieces. Yeah, I'm gonna overnight you some of that. Yeah, man. Woo! Yeah, man. Let's watch our temperature here. Put that low now. Yeah, man. Let's make sure we get our full time in there. Look at you. King crabs, uh, Stewie. I don't. You know, the, I've never, I've never had king crab. But Stewie, we're going out uh, on the 16th of November. We're going out deep sea fishing and crabbing, so we're going to get some dungeness crab. We'll show you the crab feast that night, and our, we'll have a good time. Cod and uh, crab. So, and I got a few trips, fishing trips there, Stewie. You might enjoy watching. I like to make them kind of like uh, movies and do a little cinematic touch to them. So it's just not fishing per se, it's like a visual experience too. All right. And most everything's all cleaned up for dinner already. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah, that makes you yeah. happy. Okay, take care. Thank you, Jack. Say hi to Lisa, please. Uh, go ahead and clean up some more stuff here. Oh man, this this turned out beyond belief. I may make this. I may make this for the night before fishing. I wonder if I. Uh, I'm gonna probably be a good thing to add before fishing, huh? Uh, yeah, Voodoo said, "Hey, Missy Jen." Missy Jen said, hey, Voodoo. Thank you. Yeah, Mojo is there, too, and Hondo. Hey, Mojo. Hondo is there, too. Hey, Mama Bear. Good day, Dave. I just want to kiss it to y'all. All right, mostly uh, mostly clean up done. Let's go ahead and flip this. Join your boat, Kenobi. I like that. I like that. Yeah, Mojo's my. If it doesn't say it's a, Hi, JK. Yeah. What's that? Mojo is my chicken inspector. Saw your saw your cat. I saw your. Where the hell's my cat? There's uh, actually this one goes by really fast. Andrew, Sarah. Um, we got out there. Yeah, you can make corn dogs. You can make corn dogs. RC yeah, Roberts, nice to see you. Right, we're gonna flip this over now. Because the uh, I know, I know, RC Robertson likes the fried chicken. Woo! We're gonna Ford man. That's Mama. Hi, Mama. And Sarah. Hey, Glenn. How are you? Nice, nice to see, see you. you. That really truly does look like Kentucky fried chicken, that much sure. There's Fibro Glen. Yep. The Clive Glen. Yeah. Goodness, I can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, Glenn. Thank you. There it is. Thank you, Mama Bear. Yeah. Mama Bear. Mama thank Bear. Second. Second. Yeah, Missy Jen's beautiful. I don't run with dogs, right? So. 
Hi, Jody. There's Joe. What's up? I know, uh, Mallory. It's good. I'm honored to see you on today, Mallory. Holy. One of my favorite people on YouTube I never see enough of, but she's working. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Look at the cornbread oh, in there. I'm, I'm, Bobby will be here in about half hour. Everything will be uh, cut out. Just grab one. Like that. Like, an, like an animal. 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 Like don't forget to use Asian, Asian rice wine vinegar My to get with that forward. Yeah, chicken wear. Hey, Jenny, Jen, Jen. <laughs> hey, homemade potato soup. Woo! Next week we're going to be uh, doing a fish fry and uh, fish, and, fish and chips with our pod. Okay. We get about five more minutes, and then this will all be done. If you if you're late, uh, here's the uh, honey corn bread that we made today. Okay, looking good. That should really be delicious with that. You get to monitor your temperature. Yeah, Bobby is very blessed, huh? Bobby pays it back because he buys all the meals in Vegas. So. Whoa. Now, when I'm done cooking, all I'm going to do is push the oil in the pan to the back of the stove so nobody will get hurt. And I'm going to let it go all the way down in temperature. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you very much. How is my Jenny Jen Jen today, huh? We have a chicken fry. Ring the triangle. Ding a ling a ling a ling. Y'all come running, boys. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the cats run off. Thank you, Voodoo. Always an honor to see you here. And I, I'm very happy Mallory Williams there. Uh, Stop by today. And Cheryl, I'll tell you, it tastes delicious. Now you need some baked beans. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Had good temperature all day. We can kind of let this cool down now. You want to be super safe, you can always wear goggles when you're uh, dying, too. I've seen more and more, more and more people wear goggles now. Feel like it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you need a little rosy in you, right? Hmm? <laughs> Give this one more flip here. That's going to be delicious. All right. I can turn off the heat now. The danger part is over. We have to be careful to make sure to push our pan back and we'll turn the handle to the inside. I don't want Mrs. Jen or anybody to uh, touch. Let's go one more minute on that side. And this stuff looks delicious.
This is what you need, Mama Beth, to handle things for that fry oil so you don't ever get yourself burned. You never want to get your hands down near the oil. That stuff will cook your hands fast. All right. So there is all of the finished product today. Let that cool down. I'm going to put my oven mitt on. I'm just going to turn that and move that to the back. But that get good and safe that so that's not going to harm anybody back there. Do a counter wipe down and finish up with you guys, huh? Show you the finished products here. Yeah, you need to have tongs. You need to work with tongs when you're frying and handling things. There it is. We'll give you guys the drone shot. And that is Kentucky Fried Chicken copy recipe right there. And then we got our delicious cornbread. All right, let's do one more drone flyover, huh? <laughs> Jenny Jen's like, woo, woo, there you go, girl. Yeah, you gotta do this recipe. I will put the I will take time to yeah, it's like fuck off, Rosie. <laughs> Yeah, I got potato salad. I bought the. Uh, we made our own. Uh, we made our own applesauce here on the rancho. We have a Gravenstein apple tree, so we're going to be having some applesauce, some uh, cornbread, the honey cornbread, the fried chicken, and I also have some. Uh, I also have some potato salad that I bought. Usually I like I like cold slaw, but you know, Missy Jen doesn't like cold slaw, so I got some potato salad here. All right. Give everything a good wipe down here. So that's what's on the menu tonight. Yeah, Mom, Beth, I'm not a, neither Jen nor I are uh, a really iced tea drinker. Wow. You know, my mom and dad always liked, I guess my dad still does, but they always enjoyed iced tea, and I just never, uh, I never acquired a taste for it. Growing up, I don't know. Well, oh, we always had Kool Aid. You know, I still, that's one of my guilty pleasures. I'll still go out once in a while and make up a batch of Kool Aid. I know that sounds crazy for. But. Man, everything's just about cleaned up here. Isn't that good? All right. That's awesome. Okay. Take care. Uh, take care, Dave. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Hey, Stitch. Nice to see you, Loretta. I like the sugar-free Kool-Aid. That's me, Dan. Gallons of sweet tea every week. Couldn't live with that. Fresh lemonade is really Yeah. You know, we have a... When we go to harvest lemons, we'll be making our uh, lemon meringue pie. And you can see I already have some in the uh, in the search. If you put lemon meringue pie in, you'll see I've made it quite a few times. But uh, we have Meyer lemons, which makes really good uh, lemonade, too. They're really good. Really good. Half lemonade and half tea, huh? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know. I just, uh, you know, my my folks always like my folks always like that. I just sometimes you just don't get a taste for it. Like my younger brother, he doesn't like soda. You know, when he was young, he just didn't he didn't like soda. 
And to this day, he still doesn't like it. <laughs> Stewie said, white people make the best lemonade. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit. <laughs> Did you hear that, Jen? Stewie said, white people make the best lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so I think we'll I think we'll uh, maybe we'll slice up a couple tomatoes too. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'll, I'll make sure uh, Voodoo is uh, is unhid. Um, no, Glenn, I have a Fisher Paykel stove that I've had for uh, five years. I renovated. You can see the videos on my channel. I uh, I gutted and redid the whole house. You can see my five year journey. It's called, and you can see I took this down to the studs and termite damage. I fixed all of that stuff. Yeah, I don't think Voodoo's here. Um, Voodoo, are you here? We'll see. Ch double check and see if Voodoo. Jinxie. <laughs> no, it's just a. Just a cooking show today, honey. No mukbang. <laughs> yeah, check it out. There's a lot of good. You'll go down to the uh, renovation list, and there's a lot of stuff down there on uh, projects and things. Debbie Ariola, how are you? I'll check it. Uh, as soon as I'm done the stream, uh, Hondo, I'll go double check and make sure Voodoo's, uh, make sure Voodoo's not blocked. Actually, let me go to, uh, let me just take a second and go to Voodoo. Oh, there's Voodoo. Okay. Is that your main channel, Voodoo? Yeah, that's you. Nope. <laughs> you blocked him. <laughs> there he is, Voodoo. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought. I thought Hondo was going to come blazing, make a stream where I smoke until I pass out. That's funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, okay, Voodoo. Let me go to your. Uh, sometimes people play some sh shenanigans. I don't know where in the hell my. Uh... Oh, here it is. Let's see. Let's see, Voodoo. Let me go to your channel. Voodoo, what's your uh, what's your channel, Voodoo? What's your other channel? Can you list it? I will mod him when he comes in on his other channel because he does live stream with uh, the four horsemen. So I will just let him post down his uh, channel, and I will go ahead. And uh, yeah, if anybody feels inclined to do a little dollar or two for Super Chat, that's the kind of content. So. Oh, same name. Okay, let me uh, seven seven. All right, let me copy his and just put that in. Search. Seven lonely days and seven lonely nights. I've been a dark you. I've been a love you and you. And them all you. Kentucky rain keeps falling down. Dude, no, it says you're not blocked on that one. Strange. Let me hit the other one. That's your main. Voodoo, let me show you here, my friend. This is um this is Voodoo 7770. So when I go to your about page and I click the little flag here. Normally, if you were blocked, it would say unblock user. So it doesn't appear that you're blocked on here. I can check your other uh, check your other channel too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this might be the one. Hold on a minute. This might be the one. Hold on. No, you're not blocked on this one either. Yeah, you're not blocked on either uh, either channel. Isn't that strange? 
Yeah, there's Voodoo. There's the other one. You go to the about page. You click on the flag, and it's not blocked. So. Yeah, it's weird. It's probably a it's probably a damn glitch or something. So it's very odd. Sugar cane, how are you, sweetie? Thank you for the super chats. Y'all are very sweet today. I really appreciate that. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I feel very proud that I can bring this kind of stream to uh, you guys. Not that I'm a moocher, but thank you very much. Love you guys very much. Thanks again, Glenn and uh, Mama Beth. You're a delight. Sugar cane, nice to see you, Debbie. Look at the chicken. We got us some Kentucky Fried Chicken, and we got ourselves some honey cornbread here. Jill, I see you, honey. I'm sorry. I was going and checking something out. Honey, how could I ever ignore Jill, huh? No, I'm not going to make it. I want Voodoo to come back on his main account so I can put a wrench in his hand, okay? Yeah, the chicken looks, chicken looks, uh, and I'll tell you, tastes amazing, too. We'll take a look at that nice and... As Sugar Cane would say, nice and juicy. Voodoo is at your main account there. So I think you're okay. I ain't gonna have anybody block Voodoo. That's for goddamn sure. There we go. Okay. And that's from the uh that's from the silent rider of the four horsemen. Hey side chat slut. Because that's what I am. You know what Voodoo and Mojo and Hondo say? You know what they say? Oh, thank you, sissy. Mm. You know what they say? Rosie is the entertainment USO for the four horsemen. Woo! That's it. I'm a rider, baby. <laughs> Sugar cane, I'm glad to see you here today. <laughs> no. JK, no care. Ain't nobody going to black you. Oh, uh, thank you, Sharon. I was very happy Cookie Cookie was here. Oh, my God, Stewie. Don't tell Mama about that. Holy crap. Hey, Vanessa. You know, Voodoo, much love to you, man. You can do no wrong in my book. We don't have many bona fide heroes on the boy, but uh, I'll be a son of a bitch. You're one of them. And that's bottom line. That's bottom line. No, no, Mama Beth, she's the queen. If you go look at that fried pie, we don't have any greens tonight, Joe. You know why? Because I eat salad every damn night of the week almost. So. <laughs> and Joey D, if, you're, if you behave yourself, we might have you up next Sunday for some lasagna. Thank you, Loretta. Oh, wonders where I live. I live in Santa Rosa, which is uh, in wine country here in Sonoma County. It's about 40 miles north of San Francisco in the wine regions here. Yeah, Mama Beth, you're the queen of the kitchen. That's for darn sure. Yeah, where's that sweet potato pie, huh, Glenn? Oh, Cookie said, oh, happy anniversary to you, Sharon. You and Cookie, your anniversary. Rosewater Spring, how are you, sweetie? Nice to see you. I'm honored that Rosewater Spring came by. So thank you again, guys, for your uh, your kindness today. Um, 429, I'm going to go about 15 more minutes. Bobby will be here. And if you're following me on uh, Twitter, I will go ahead and tweet out these uh, when we have a little taste of these. And anytime I have a heavy meal, I need a side set. I'm going to serve it. But yeah, it's, it's very rare that I don't have that. Uh, but tonight, I just want to munch down on some real, yeah, Jill's here. Always nice to see Jill. I want to munch down on a real, real, I've been, I've been watching my weight like crazy. So, you know, sorority brat Rosie got a video coming out tonight. What's Rosie got to do to pay those tuition bills? Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Seven lonely days and seven lonely nights. I do say looking for you. I'm 
Kentucky rain keeps falling down. With the rain in my shoes, the rain in my shoes, searching for you in the cold Kentucky rain. You know, he said, I sang Elvis better than Elvis sings Elvis. I have Elvis from the boy. <laughs> uh, thank you, too, and Steph. Uh, Callie, you're a pretty, you don't have to do anything, honey. I mean, pretty ain't any. Pretty, pretty ain't nothing. Cold Kentucky rain, baby. With the rain in my shoes, rain in my shoes, searching for you in the cold Kentucky rain. <laughs> Eating your salad, pretending it's my chicken. That's a poor imitation, Mama Beth. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> What's that, Jan? <clears throat> I think that was awesome. We had a beautiful sunny day today. I was so depressed yesterday when that rain was here. Yeah, Voodoo, you like yourself some chicken? Hmm? Blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Mm -hmm. That's right. Stewie, you sound like Dave the fisherman now. <laughs> no, Bobby will be Bobby's usually here about 445 or all. Joe, if you uh just let us know if you want to uh pop up next week and I'll probably make my uh lasagna. Um so you're welcome to come up if you want to and that will visit. I hope in November to have JK, Mrs. JK, you. I'd like to get whiskey down to uh whiskey down too and have a have a barbecue yeah yeah the outside is definitely uh, definitely delicious and it's good this has a chance to cool down too so it's not too damn hot so and i think corn oil is the perfect thing to do okay thank you sugar and i loved your i loved your why couldn't i comment last night on your uh on your video. You look so cute uh, last night. Uh, <laughs> sounds sounds like a fun orgy. Yeah, because we we still we can still have nice weather. Thank you, whatever. We can still have nice weather in um, right into right into Christmas time. Uh, thank you, Eddie, nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, thanks, to, we had a lot of people on the stream today. It was really a lot of fun. Really a blast. Thank you, Zoe, my Baltimore gal. Thank you very much, honey. A lot of fun today on the stream. Uh, last night, yeah, Jill, last night it was a mess, was a mess, was a mess. But it is what it is. I'm kind of used to it now, Jill. Shit happens. There's our, uh, there's our chicken. There. And I'm a, I'm a son of a gun. Hey, CJ, how are you? I'm a son of a gun if this doesn't smell just like Kentucky Fried Chicken. And there is our honey cornbread, courtesy of uh, Jaded Diva. Okay, sugar, I'll go back and check it out. Thank you, Kit and Cat. Thank you very much, honey. So. Uh, Kit and Cat, I'm going to make my first declarative statement on YouTube. That's going to be some good eating tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always blame Hondo. Uh, 
<laughs> no, it was a couple weeks ago. I was getting Cat up to comment. I would fall over if Rosie ever made a declarative statement about anybody on <laughs> on YouTube. I thought that that was so cute. Yeah, really edgy statement. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, for me, Kit and Cat, that's groundbreaking, Matt. That's absolutely groundbreaking. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you very much. Yeah, Jill, if I had to do it over again, I think I might have gone to the CIA. I almost went to the other CIA, but the uh, Culinary Institute of America. <clears throat> Look up a guy named Thomas Keller in the French Laundry in uh, Napa County, the number one rated restaurant in America. You want to see an amazing guy? What was dinner, honey? Three, 300, 320 bucks for dinner. 320 bucks. But you're eating at the number one restaurant in America. I was on my video of traveling over to St. Helena on the Rosie Murphy channel. Blue moon. Yeah, Jill, it's crazy expensive, but you're eating, you know, no dish has repeat ingredients in it. Never, in other words, they only ever use, they use one, each ingredient one time on the menu. That's it. You know, Zoe, you're correct. Dollar Tree has some of the best cornbread, Texas. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. We reviewed it. We did it on Dollar Tree Roulette. It was called Morrison's Cornbread Kit, and it is amazing. We had that. It was wonderful. Morrison's, and we did the – I showed the city. I showed the plant where they make it and everything. Morrison's. Uh, thank you, Sissy. I'm going to save you a, uh, uh, that's what I'm going to do, Stewie. Cheers. Sugar Cane said, we just had, Rosie, we just had endless shrimp at the Red Lock. Wish you could have been there, huh? <clears throat> You know what kind of pie I needed to finish this tonight? I need to have a damn lemon meringue pie. That would have been that. That would have been the real deal. That would have been the real deal on there. <clears throat> so we're letting that oil get down to a good safe temperature, and then we'll just uh, we'll figure out. We'll probably bury that, let that naturally dissipate. Uh, I'm not. I don't like to. I'm not much. I guess you could reuse it, but uh, you know. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll handle the grease responsibly. It is vegetable taste, so it can be uh, can be recycled. The insane chef's cooking videos. Thank you. Yeah, Callie, I think cheesecake would put me in the hospital, honey. After all this chicken and cornbread and all that, I just think a lemon meringue pie would be pretty light on the on the tongue. But uh, Callie, you have an invite, damn girl. <laughs> Mama Beth versus Rosie. I have to look, Stewie. This is the deal. I have to throw in a towel before I even begin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You watch the chicken for me. Making the next flight out, Jill. That's it, baby. You better pack an overnight bag too, honey. Put the, uh, put the stove back together a little bit here. Throw another log on the fire. Throw another log on the fire, baby. Some bacon and some bacon. You sound like my, my grandma. You put a log on the fire. Put another log on the fire. She said, you stay over. You better get down to the feed store. We're going to be putting up another batch of shine tomorrow. Get your, lazy, put the get your lazy ass down to the grain feed and get that damn 
corn. I'm going to be making up a batch of shine tomorrow. Let's me them old slivers. That's it. Got to, guys, got to get yourself one of these. One of these candy thermometers are great at the holidays. For Right. Boy. Those bad boys are good. All right, Jenny, you leaving, honey? But Rosie, you are cheesecake, huh? See, I got talking like sugar cane now. Sugar cane said, Mama Bear, I thought that I'd go over there and I'd leave a comment on that stream. And I was blocked. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I saw a sugar cane, I'm like, I got to shove off sugar cane. Oh, man. Bobby, it's there. Oh, well, we finished off the uh, mama bear cake. Yeah, we finished the uh, cherry angel yeah. food cake. Let's hit the deck. Sugar cane said, hi, Mrs. Jen. How are you? Hi. All right, uh, sugar cane. Nice to meet you. You take others for the shine. That's it. Yep. Hey, there's Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Jill, I would give you a private chat on Hi, the uh, mm -hmm. pri private Happy tour. Us. I give Jill a private tour of the uh, shine chat. Yeah, let's see. Jeremy. Hey, David Cover. Hey, David. Check out what you're having for dinner tonight, huh? Bobby's here. Oh my god, chicken, chicken. cornbread, potato salad, and applesauce. Huh? How's that look? Huh? Good. How are you? Woo. I'm good. How are you doing? Hey, all. There's Bobby. How are you? <laughs> I brought the paper. Yay, because I'm too cheap to subscribe. <laughs> so. <laughs> Bobby, I'm not cheap, am I? You're not. You're thrifty. Thrifty. Oh, you <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks so much for being on the uh, stream hey, today. Candy. Yeah, Jeremy mm -hmm. said hi, Bobby. Oops. So, JK, Jeremy, everybody hey, said hi. hi to kisses to Candy yeah. Kisses. Yeah. Yep, there's Bobby. Everybody said, where's Bobby these days? There he is, Bobby. Bob, Bob, Bobby's a yeah, capitalist. He's out making money. Out making money. That's what I do. Hi, JK. Thank you, Glenn. Thanks for the uh, super chat, Glenn. I appreciate it. Also, Mama Beth, thank you very much. Mama, we'll see. Cupcake, nice to see you, honey. Mm -hmm. Thanks, love yeah. and kisses to all of you. Mm -hmm. yeah, Hi, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby's uh, tearing down them walls in San Francisco. There we That's go. Right. Yeah. Joey D said, Hi, Bobby. So. Bobby, I'll be making the uh, lasagna next week. I think Joey D is going to be coming up if he's free for uh, for lasagna. So. Have a good night. Thank you. Man. We're going to say bye and thank you, bye. everybody. Thank you, good Ruby night. Bob. Thank you so much. And love you guys. And uh, thanks for being here. Love and hugs and kisses to all infinity and beyond. And uh, Stewie, I always got my eye on you. <laughs> 